Hi guys, so today I have decided to try out my new FM makeup. I've only got three products. I've got an eyebrow pencil, a blusher and a foundation. But I thought I may as well try them out whilst I've got them in the new. So we're just going to try them out today. So before I start, I, I know that this is going to be too dark. But we're going to work with it. I was lighting it with um, concealer. So I'm just going to pump it on my hand. Well, I've just done two, but quite a lot comes out if you do two points. And I've got a lipstick on my hand that stained my hand, so I'm going to... It's not too bad. I'm not sure what the coverage is like. Um, I'm pretty sure it's even medium to full coverage, but either way, it'll, I'll make it work. Oh, I've got a spot on my nose. Just trying to think if I've got any more spots. Well, I've got a spot there now. That came earlier, but it'd be right. Um, I don't think it, it is it dark for my skin, but like it's not too dark. So the foundation's now on and as you can see, like the spot's gone well I say it gone. It's kind of gone here and there's a spot there that you can kind of see. But in all in all it's alright. I'm just using a sponge to kind of yeah, I'll do that thing. Um, but other than that, it was very easy to apply. I'm just gonna conceal now. I think the foundation cost. I think I got it on a sale because obviously it's a marketing website. But there's like, it's a bit like not even. Like Avon, where people sell it in groups on Facebook or whatever. It's a bit like that, but the products are so nice. I've just ordered a perfume for my mum from over there. And I'm hot. Well, I know it's going to smell nice because I've already got it. I just know, know she likes the same as me, so I've got it because the original one that she likes is the Angel called Angel, it's in like a a, um, a star glass bottle and it's really expensive, it's like £120 so I thought, you know, this one was I got it on sale, I think it was like £16 so, but I think the one that I've just bought my mum it's £13 I think Oh no, it's originally £16.90 something and I bought it for £13 because it was on a sale. I'm just using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. I have tried to sort out all my makeup today as well because I have like a little like toiletry thing. Not, It's like a shelf kind of thing, it's got three layers. Top one's foundations and eyebrow stuff and whatever. And then the second one is just like lipsticks and other bits and bats like eyelash glue and I oh no eyelashes in my I've got a basket for my eyelashes and my palettes. So and I've got another basket up there and I'm gonna fill it with whatever else I've got spare. But I'm just wanting to buy like new makeup to try out and then I can try it on here and it gives me a reason to make videos. Like obviously I'd like to make videos more often but I've got like very low confidence so I don't like to like be out there in the open and whatever. I'm quite enjoying doing these videos at the moment so I'm just going to stick to it and I've got an itchy nose. Just keep doing them and uploading. Oh, this phone man. So that's that done. Now it's for... Uh, powder. 
Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna try this actually. I haven't used this yet. I swatched it on my hand and it looked quite nice. I just need to find a, a brush to use it. I'm gonna use this one. It's, it's quite a, like a dense brush, not too dense. But I don't know whether to put it on with my fingers. It's like, do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's gonna take off my foundation. It's not very pigmented though. And then we just put the lid back on it. I didn't actually buy that, I've got it off my mum because she had loads. Um I don't think it's blending in. Oh no it is. It is. You just have to give it time to blend in. It's actually quite a nice colour. This side's still a bit too pink. Well, it's not really a pink colour. Um, the colour is... Do you know? It doesn't say the colour, I don't think. Oh, it says soft kiss, so I'm not sure. Like, the colour... So, mind my nails. Like I have, I lost my fake nails. I really wanted to do them before I did this video, but then I can't find my nails. So I'm hoping I can find them and then, you know, do that. Oh, I just burnt my hand on the wax melt. So I'm just gonna use the collection primed and ready. And I've just had a brush and I've lost it now. Give me a second found the brush I needed, this one, and we're just tapping it in, and you get like that, and then I just tap it under my eyes, really like this one, I had it ages ago, and then I ran out, so I had to kind of like have a substitute, which was this one, which I never really liked, but, it, like, I had it a couple of years ago and it never really worked for me and then lately it's just been absolutely great to use so I don't know whether it's because my skin has changed because I've started looking after my skin or I don't know I'm just trying to think did I conceal I think I did yeah I did I did I did it's alright So I'm just gonna try and get it on this kind of area and then I'll use a big brush and just you know what is it like a blush -a brush a big powder brush I only know them as blush well I use them for blusher don't know why probably better off using a little brush for blusher so now we are going to use the FM eyebrow pencil and it looks alright, it's quite easy to use, should be alright cool as well. So I'm just gonna do what I'd normally do, and I've, I've changed my eyebrow routine kind of thing. So I used to just do a big line over the top and a big line underneath, and then shade it all in, it used to be like right blocky, but now I don't like them too dark. So for me right now, I just tend to like put a few lines in just to give it that kind of a eyebrow look. So I quite like the eyebrow products. The, like I don't see a problem with them. I need to carve out the eyebrows because they're just not playing ball today. I don't think. Like this one's gone a bit high, I think. So I need concealer again, which I'll use this one again. I think this is probably my favourite one. I've got another one, but it's really dark, and I'm just trying to find it. This one. 
the MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer which is really dark and it's really matte as well and I don't like it. I don't like matte concealers. So just trying to carve the brow. I don't think that looks bad, I quite like it. Just blend it out a bit so it's got so it's not like a harsh line. But I'm gonna do the other eye now and then we'll get on to eyeshadows. So now we're on with shadows. I've done the eyebrows, they look a bit uneven, but your eyebrows aren't the same anyway, so it, it shouldn't matter. But for eyeshadow, I don't know what colour to do. Um I'm going to use this palette and I'm thinking of trying the green colour, the green eye that I usually would do. Well not usually, but I use this green on this green together and it looks bomb ass. No, it doesn't. It, I think it looks like yeah. That's all I'm saying. So I think we're going to do that. So. Do I need? No, we'll be right. I'm gonna go in with this green colour here, and I don't even know the shades. It's just like one, two, forty-five. So this would be like number one, and then that one would be twenty. Because I don't know if you can see, but it's got all the numbers on the back. Anyway. I don't really do much do that. So with this palette, it's got a lot of pigment to it. I got it um, last year, because me and my boyfriend went away for Valentine's Day. And he bought me makeup, because I asked for it, because makeup's delightful. I actually really like doing this eye. I've got another eye, um, like a design that I do, which is like yellow and then blended into orange, and I really like doing that as well. I might have to do that for a video for you. It looks like a sunset kind of thing. And then I'm, I've just gone in with this lighter green, well it's like a turquoise greeny kind of colour and then I just blend it in with all that just I don't like to get it too close to my inner corner but at this point it looks a bit rubbish but when it's done it will look decent enough as I say I think I'll be best off coming off camera to do the eye because it might take a while so I just thought, just to pass time, I've got some questions up to answer. So the first question is, have you ever met someone famous? And in actual fact I have. Because in, I think I was in year 8, so it would have been like 2014, I was in the school choir. And we sung at the NTAs, which is the National Television Awards. And we met... Dem O'Leary and like other people, like famous people, and we got to walk on the red carpet with them. So I have met famous people. Yes, I have. 
But I think that's the only time I've met a famous person. Even, well, then. And me personally, I didn't meet him, but we were supposed to meet Gary Barlow and sing at one of his concerts. But then another school took over that. So, like, half the choir did and half the choir didn't, and I was in the other half that didn't. But, yeah, I have met someone famous. So, the next question is, have you ever been in the snow? Yeah, <laughs> I have. Um... Do you still have your childhood teddy bear? In actual fact, I do. I've got my first Christmas one, and I got one when I was younger. I got burnt, like a chip pan fell on top of me. Well, me and my brother, and it burnt me. So, yeah, I, I've got that teddy from when I was in the hospital. Next question is, do you like scary movies? I do, but I won't watch them on my own. And I think I've only watched them, I think, with my sister. I've probably watched a few more. But me and my sister watched one called Us, and it was the weirdest thing ever. And we were sat there like, what the hell's gone on? And if you haven't watched it, it, it you should watch it. But it's just so confusing. Like, I was, I was sat there, and I'm not very good with, like, storylines and stuff. Well all depends on what the film is and if I'm into it or not like with with the scary movie the Us movie um, it, it just is scary it just didn't seem to plan out right um, last film you watched I don't really watch films and if I do it's never one I want to watch, but like, the last film I watched, oh, it will have been, I watched it the other day, what was it called? Oh, Grease, that was the last film I watched, last TV series I watched was the originals, I finished it, and I cried, and yeah, so I'm going to watch Vampire Diaries again, because it's come back on Netflix, and I'm so happy about that. But yeah, I'm going to watch that, and then I'm going to watch the originals again. Next question is... Um, do you believe in love at first sight? Yes, I do. Because in actual fact... Well, no. Love at first sight? Yes. But... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like there will be somebody who falls in love at first sight. I did. Sorry to tell you. But like, I did. And... Yeah, well, me and my boyfriend, we started talking. And then we got together like a couple of weeks. I think it was about a month after. But then we actually didn't see each other for six months after that. Because I suffer with like anxiety and stuff. So I was like really nervous to see him. And plus... He couldn't drive and I couldn't drive and he lived like 40 minutes away from me and I lived, well obviously 40 minutes away from him. So it was hard to get to see each other. So we didn't until he passed his driving test and he came to see me. Because that's sort of gentle when he is. But yeah. Um, what was your favourite candle scent? I don't really use candles, I use wax melts more because I make them, like myself, so I use wax melts more, but if it was a candle, I got one from Asda and it was called Spiced Berry and it was so nice, and it was very, very strong, which was like the best thing, but yeah, I never had a candle apart from that, so... It would be the one that I got from Asda. So, short hair or long hair? I have long hair and I've, I'd prefer to have long hair. I think my hair's nearly down to my bum at this point. Because I hate getting my hair cut as well. 
because I don't want, like, I don't trust people with my hair. Like, I don't trust myself with my hair and I cut me on fringe. And that's why it's always in this because every time I tie my hair up, there's like a little, like, bit that, like, like, so it doesn't, what is it, like, sort itself out with the actual hair. But it's getting there now, it's starting to look decent. So, yeah. But I do prefer long hair. I wouldn't mind short hair, but I just prefer long hair. Um, do you wear makeup every day? Not every day. I, I try not to anyway. Because last week I wore it every day because we had to go pick my father and Laurel. But other than that, I didn't and that's because I just don't go out if I didn't if I went out all the time then yeah I would wear makeup but I just didn't and last week I was feeling like really shit about myself so I just thought you know glam myself up just to get in the car and come back home in like the next hour um last thing that made you cry My nephew, he's, a, he's like so adorable and he's the most caring and he's just, he's just ace. He's nine and he just likes to know everyone's okay kind of thing. He's just so adorable and I just, yeah, he's just so cute. He's just very caring and very family oriented for his age. Which I, th I find really nice. But sometimes it's a little bugger but at the all so. But like I miss him and I miss all of them because I've got like five and then I've got eight nieces and nephews. More boys I think now. Yeah, there's five boys and three girls. Yeah. Couldn't, I can't remember. <laughs> um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. Oh. Um, eyelashes. Am I doing eyelashes? Do I do eyelashes? No. I'll just do my contour and stuff. And this makes me look bald. I don't like it. But now I just look worse and... I'll just, I'll sort it out after it's fine. I've got a spot right in my head, like here. It's really annoying. Have you ever had a spot in your ear? I've got one of them at the moment, and it's awful. But anyway, cracking on. I have just realised I've got a blusher to try out, and I've just used a cream blusher. Blusher. Yeah, I'll still, I'll still try. It's fine. Will, will, will they? So I'm just using the Revolution Strong Soul palette and it's nearly like empty so I might need to get a new one. I have got other contour palettes but there's one that's very like it has loads of fallout and I don't like that. But I do think I need a new one. So the next question will be short guys or tall guys? Well my boyfriend he's not exactly tall but he's not small either. Like I think he's five foot eleven or ten. So he's not exactly tiny but he's not absolutely like he's not like six foot which I don't mind. But he's tall compared to me because I'm on like five foot four, so I'm not very tall either. But anyway, it's not like I'm gonna grow anymore anyway. So I'll just be happy with what I am and move on, kind of thing. I feel like this hasn't blended in. Like it doesn't look like it has there on the recording but it has 
in the mirror. Oh, I don't know. Let me see what's it. And now I just need a blusher brush. I'm gonna use this one, and we're gonna do the blusher. I don't know if to use a smaller brush though because it's only a tiny little thing. So it's got magnetic on the back because you can make your own palettes. So like contours and stuff you can make it. But this was just like a little, it was in a mystery bag that I got I think. And I got like a cap, oh no it was a wardrobe freshener thing. Which smells absolutely gorgeous. But I've just... I don't know how pigmented it is. So oh, quite pigmented. But we'll just remove it. Mm. Reusing it. I actually quite like it. I don't really use um blushes. But this one it's quite nice. But I do like all their products that they do, like they do Perfumes, uh, they do perfumes like diffusers. I think they do what smells? I don't, I don't know if they do actually. I'm, I might just be making stuff up at this point, but they do absolutely all sorts. I can leave a link to the website or I can leave the link to the girl that I buy from. I can speak to her about that. Either way, I can leave a link. But if I don't, it's probably because I've forgotten or I couldn't find any. So now I'm just going to do highlighter. But I'm going to use a different one today. I'm going to use this one. It's, it's, it's like this one, but it's like a, a white pearl. It says pearlescent sheen, that's what it's called. I can never remember the actual shade like the colour of it, like the name of it, so, but, I'm just going to use it for today, and see what, what it does, oh, so as you can see it's very pigmented when you put it on, but with this I find sometimes, if I put too much on my brother or my sister, like either my brothers or my sister will tell me you know it, it's gone white like turn it down a bit like now I've put a bit much on oh, I absolutely love it it's so nice I don't really use it that often but I think I'm gonna have to start using it again because it's, it's oh, it just looks so pretty So I'm just going to do the mascara, which shouldn't take too long. So that is the makeup done for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and the video is going to be long enough now, it's like half an hour long. So I hope you stick around to watch it all, I hope you enjoyed. If there is any like questions or any suggestions that you want to tell me comment or i'll leave my instagram in the description so you know where to find me and if you want to message me because i will i will write back to you like it's not a problem for me to do that so i hope you enjoyed the video guys um just like and subscribe if you do like it and i'll see you next time bye